Today, millionaires are on the move more than ever. Successful people are waking up to the fact that just because you grew up somewhere doesn't mean that you have to keep living there if it no longer suits your needs. And of course, different places are going to be right for different people. And this is logically going to depend on what kind of person you are, how successful you are, how much money you make, and these kinds of factors. So if you are a millionaire or a successful person, or you are the kind of person where you think you're going to be successful or a millionaire in the future, looking at the trends of where these kinds of people are specifically going might give you an idea for where you might want to move. So in this video, we're going to look at some very new statistics that were published by this website called a visual capitalist on millionaire migration. So what are the countries where millionaires are moving to the most out of any country in the world? And what are the countries that millionaires are leaving? Some very interesting trends here. So let's take a look at it. First, let's look at the countries that are attracting most millionaires. So this is the top 10 list of countries. I wish they gave more details on the kinds of people who are moving to each country that would be very interesting to look at at the top we have the uae and this is no surprise to me obviously we talk about the uae and dubai specifically the major city in the uae a lot on this channel because this is also the country that i move to personally and it makes a lot of sense uae is a country that is extremely forward looking in general it is the kind of place that is going up that is moving in the right direction and the kinds of people again these millionaires entrepreneurs they are usually the kinds of people people who are very growth minded forward looking people and they want to be in an environment that is also looking up that is also improving for the future and where you can build a good future for yourself your family and your business it's also extremely safe because surprise surprise when you actually enforce your laws and when you actually punish crimes you end up with a pretty safe country the uae has very low tolerance for crimes which makes it a very safe environment for the successful people and their families it also has really great infrastructure for business it's a very modern convenient city while you can of course run your business from a less developed country somewhere like thailand malaysia that are popular for sort of people starting out usually once you get to a good level of income you often start to look for the convenience of a really modern developed city and of course the UAE offers very low taxes. It has 0% personal income tax and 0% corporate tax for anyone earning less than 3 million dirhams a year in revenue. If you earn more than 3 million dirhams a year, which is around $816,000 in revenue, then you will have to pay the new 9% corporate tax that they have implemented. Now you can reduce this by paying yourself a salary, obviously business expenses, things like this. And also the first 375,000 dirhams in profit is also 0%, but as we can see, Despite this 9% corporate tax, which I presume that a lot of these millionaires are paying, despite of that, it has the highest inflow of millionaires in the world. So it's not just about paying zero tax for all of these people, as long as the taxes are low. And most importantly, as long as they are reasonable relative to what you get, then people are going to move to that place. Now, if you want to move to the UAE, if you think UAE is the right place for you, then I actually have a team down below that can help you. You can book a free consultation with them. They can walk you through the process and tell you all the details of what moving there looks like what the process is like and then they can essentially do everything for you set up your company get your visa make sure you become tax resident properly and also give you contacts in your home country if you want to become a non-resident in let's say australia or canada or wherever you're leaving from so if you're looking to do that then book that free call down below in the description next on the list we have the us now this might come as a surprise to a lot of people given how negative the sentiment tends to be towards the us in this sort of offshore space on youtube a lot of people saying us is not a great place anymore and i tend to agree and also disagree with that because for us citizens it is not actually that simple to leave the us and become a non-tax resident because the us taxes based on citizenship so that is heavily going to restrict the number of people flowing out of the country remember these numbers are net flow so people coming in minus people going out so the us is going to have less people going out because of their crazy citizenship based taxation and it is also still a great place to do business for certain kind of businesses let's say you want to run a venture capital funded startup the us is still the hub for this in the world if let's say you are a venture capital investor and you want to access all the investment opportunities in the US it still makes sense why a lot of people would be moving there but I would say for most of the people watching this channel let's say you are a digital nomad let's say you are a nomadic entrepreneur you run a location independent online business I don't think the US I wouldn't say it's the worst place in the world but it certainly just doesn't make sense compared to all the other options that are out there for most people next is Singapore so Singapore again makes a lot of sense it has a lot of the same benefits as the UAE in fact often 
Boston, Dubai, and Singapore are sort of compared as the two top sort of tier one cities for online business owners, for people looking for more economic freedom and things like this. Offers again, great safety, great business infrastructure, low taxes, again, not zero taxes, but low enough taxes where what you're getting for the taxes is really good value in Singapore. Now, Singapore is going to be very, very expensive. So it's not going to be, again, for someone starting out, but for someone who is wealthy, for someone who is making a lot of money, it could be a great option. And clearly a lot of millionaires agree. The next one is probably the biggest surprise on this list. We have Canada. Now, I think Canada is a pretty terrible place to move to. I have a lot of successful Canadian friends who are telling me about how the country is declining, the taxes are going crazy, everything like this. I believe a lot of the people here moving to Canada are people coming from China, from India, from like less developed countries with weaker passports. And in fact, I looked up some data and in fact, I did find that the majority of the millionaires flowing into Canada are going to be from countries like China, places like this, where I would presume they move to Canada to buy property because the property prices are going up a lot in their country and also to work towards the citizenship because in Canada, I think is one of the fastest ways to get a citizenship in a Western country if that is what you're looking for. So it might make sense for someone like that but again for a lot of the kinds of people watching this channel you're probably going to be looking to move out of canada rather than going into canada but it is surprising to see this on this list i would assume it's going to go down a lot in future years next one again could be a surprise to some people australia again a high tax western country crazy taxation going downhill in a previous video, when I looked at the data on this from last year, I was surprised by this. And then a lot of people commented who are Australian that actually a lot of the people flowing into Australia are specifically people fleeing China. Once we look in a second on the data of where people are leaving, China is at the top. And obviously Australia is reasonably close to China. So a lot of this can in fact be explained by that. And also if we think about what kinds of people millionaires are. I think there are sort of two kinds of millionaires. There are millionaires who are still growing, still building businesses and still earning a lot of money. And then there are the kinds of millionaires who are, let's say, retirees, where their millionaire net worth come from, comes from like a house they own or something like that. These kinds of people aren't probably think about like income tax rates as much. They're probably moving to Australia to retire, to enjoy the weather, the beaches and things like that. So for those kinds of people, I could see why Australia could be the option. Next, we have Italy. Now this might be puzzling for some people. Italy is a high tax country on paper, but what they have is their flat tax pro program where you can pay a flat around 100,000 euros a year in tax if you op opt for this program. So I would imagine a lot of people are taking advantage of that. Switzerland reasonably low tax quite expensive but again i could see someone very very wealthy moving to switzerland to enjoy the nature things like this out of all sort of western and european countries is probably the best option for a wealthy individual in my opinion then we have greece portugal these are again countries that have these tax incentive programs for wealthy individuals moving there Portugal for, the, for a long time have had the NHR program. So a lot of people are moving there to take advantage of those programs, I would assume. And then Japan, I don't really know. Probably people from China are moving there, things like this. Now, what are the countries where people are leaving? Now, if you look at this list of countries, we have China, we have India, we have Russia, Brazil, South Africa. A lot of this can be explained by people simply leaving jurisdictions that don't have like stable laws, don't have rule of law don't have a stable court system and things like this they're essentially afraid that if they leave their wealth in china in russia it might be taken away by the state by corruption things like this so this is fully understandable if you are a wealthy individual in china your first goal is probably to get out of china as fast as possible to essentially secure your wealth in a more stable jurisdiction so a lot of this can be explained by that so it makes sense that china would be at the top that india would be at the top because the populations of these countries are so high so it would make sense that they have a lot of millionaires and that those millionaires wouldn't want to stay there but there is one country here that definitely stands out and that is going to be the uk the uk as the second most millionaires leaving the country out of any country in the world despite the fact that the uk has a tiny population compared to China, compared to India, compared to Russia. And on this channel, I've made videos about in the past about why successful people are leaving the UK, how the UK is going downhill. I previously lived in the UK myself, and this just shows you just what a toilet the UK is becoming specifically for successful people. And the reasons for this are manyfold. 
the crime is increasing. The weather has always been terrible. So there are countries like Italy, Spain, where the economy is in the toilet, the taxes are crazy, but at least they have the food and at least they have the weather. But the UK doesn't even have those. It has terrible food, it has terrible weather. If you are a successful person in the UK, like you just have no reason to stay there other than family reasons, or maybe you, I don't know, maybe you like the nature or you like looking at the historic old buildings, I don't know. So when I talk about the UK negatively on this channel, this is not just me. Literally the millionaires in the country clearly agree with me. They are fleeing the country. They are flocking to UAE, to other places in the world. The UK is going to complete toilet. And with the recent election win by the Labour Party, this is going to become even worse because the populace of the country still seems to be of the opinion that the rich are evil, which is just take all their money, tax all their money away. And what do you know? When you do that, when you have this attitude against these rich people, what are they going to do? Well, they are going to leave because why would you want to live in a country like that? And what does this lead to? Well, when all the people at the top who actually paying the taxes are leaving the country and you're importing the third world into the bottom who are going to take from the system who are going to take all this tax money now you have less tax revenue and more people who need this tax revenue so what do you have to do well you kind of have to increase taxes again in the short run to pay for this which is again going to lead more and more people from the top to leave because they don't want to pay these taxes and lead to this very bad vicious cycle which is very very difficult to get out of i don't see the uk improving anytime soon if you're from the uk and you're growth minded you're successful just leave while you still can the direction is just so so bad anyway what other countries do we have here well we have south korea i don't really know much about the reasons here taiwan nigeria vietnam most of these just make sense because these are the kinds of jurisdictions that just don't have the rule of law on business friendly don't have economic freedom so people are going to, to want to leave just a thought it would be interesting to look at these numbers and if you're looking to move then again look at out of all the options in the world where are you going to get the most these countries on the list here where millionaires are moving might give you some ideas if you would like to move to the top country of this list which is the uae where i am personally mainly resident then again you can book that free call down below in the description with that if you want to understand more specifically about the uae and why specifically millionaires are flocking to dubai then i made this video right here where i explained this to you in more detail so go watch that video next and i'll see you in the next one